we mainly focus our activity on the improvement of adherence to long-term therapies in the elderly population at regional level, where uh, therapies are intended more, uh, not only as a drug prescription, but uh, in a broader meaning of uh, healthy lifestyles. Non-adherence is a, a big issue. 50% uh, um, of uh, patients, of citizens, are not following properly the, uh, prescri the treatment that, that are prescribed by healthcare professionals. So there are multiple reasons for the, this uh, big number to, and uh, this big problem to, to, to exist. Also, there are 200,000 uh, premature deaths per year associated to non-adherence problems. So it's a big issue to be, to be solved. We are more than 60 uh, partners. Every one of us represented individual commitment, individual activities and uh, it is the right place where these individual activities can be shared and compared. The project has been scheduled according to three main activities. First, monitoring adherence, second, uh, patient risk assessment, and third, development and implementation of uh, interventions. We have created an instrument that is trying to identify the needs to activate uh, modern European citizens and to establish a proactive practice team. With this condition, you are able to increase adherence uh, rates. We think we provided a critical contribution to the understanding of the adherence phenomenon with three main milestones. First, we developed an effective adherence monitoring system through the use of observatory studies and administrative databases, uh, which provide us critical information concerning uh, specific behavioral uh, prescription partners in the elderly population. In second instance, we identify context-specific interventions addressed to improve uh, adherence and establishing risk definition for tailored intervention and uh, evaluating possible correlation between adherence, patient's adherence and the clinical outcomes. And the third point was uh, we, we were able to design organizational model for proactive care uh, through the development of uh, innovative and cutting-edge methodologies combining comprehensive genetic assessment and uh, a computerized prescription support systems. Then we are also trying to review existing guidelines on polypharmacy, uh, which is an important issue because um, uh, a great majority of uh, European citizens have uh, multiple uh, morbidities and so there can be multiple drugs they have to take. So it is important to understand how to, uh, these drugs interact and which are the, the, the recommendations that we should provide to face this problem. The individual uh, results, the individual commitment that we have been developing are now mature deliverables. So we have results that are available to, to all the European uh, society and uh, working together in this context helped us to transform this uh, intervention, this individual intervention is in uh, uh, something that is evaluated un under the triple win uh, uh, umbrella of the European Innovation Partnership. So the main challenge of active healthy aging in our vision are deeply embedded in the rapid evolution of social, economical and health determinants. We may consider the demographic transition and the consequent rise of chronic disease a threats, but uh, we now have, you have the opportunity and probably also the urgency to develop a better healthcare system. How can we do that? Well, first, by pushing the prevention of uh, chronic diseases through the promotion of a healthy lifestyle. Second, uh, driving improvements in the way we meet the primary healthcare needs of uh, the most excluded by promoting the social inclusion. And third, scientific evidence and social responsibility must support the development of a sustainable healthcare system from both the economical and the ethic point of view. We have to have clear in our mind that uh, health is not only uh, uh, an outcome, it is a continuous process. So, so we have to be able to identify where the citizen is uh, and we have to identify which are the services, which is the outcome and which are the resources that we need to identify for each stages of, of, the, of this continuous process.